Questions five and six were decimal word problems. So let's look at how they go. The number of gallons of water that leak from deep pool can be represented by point by negative three tenths. Pete finds a bowl that holds five hundredths of a gallon. How many bowls will it take to hold all of the water leaking from the pool? Okay, so a leak is something small, so it's not going to be like five gallons of water. We're dealing with small decimal numbers. He's also taking a very small bowl here to sort of catch the water that's leaking, and then he's sort of dumping it probably in a sink and then refilling it again. So, what we have is we have three tenths is how much total water we have. Then, we're dividing that into groups of 500. I want to see how many times he needs to refill that bowl, or how many small groups of 500 fit inside the three tenths. Sometimes decimals get in the way of our understanding. You can think of it as three gallons, and you have this sort of smaller half gallon to fill it up with, how many times you need to scoop the water to get all of the three gallons of water. But it's the same problem. Here's my dividend, and here's my divisor. Now when I go to divide decimals, I can't have a decimal outside the house, so I'm going to move it over two times, and I have to move it over under the house two times as well. I go ahead and I write my decimal already in my answer. That way I don't lose track of where it's supposed to be. Now, this is the same thing as saying 5 goes into 36 times. And there's nothing of a remainder. So that means that P will need 6 volts to hold the water. Let's go ahead and look at number six as well on the same video. Miss James is going mudding in her truck this weekend. She buys 9.3 gallons of gas to fill up her truck. The gas cost her $2.12 per gallon. And she pays with a $100 bill. How much change does she get back? So when I look at this problem, I see three numbers. I see the $100 bill, I see the amount of gas, and I see the cost for gas. Now let's think about this a little bit. What is Miss James going to do first? Is she going to give the cashier the $100 bill? Or is she going to figure out how much her gas costs? The first step that we're going to do is we're going to figure out the price of her gas. Well, how much money does she owe the person at the gas station first? Well, I know that it's $2.12 for every gallon. She's going to spend more than $2.12 because she's buying more than one gallon of gas. That's a multiplication problem. $2.12 times 9.3. A lot of times it's the decimals that mess up with your understanding. Think of it if they were whole numbers. If each gallon of gas cost $2 and she bought 9 gallons, that would cost $18 because $2 for every single gallon. So I have a group of 2, a group of 2, a group of 2, a group of 2, and I don't have 9 groups of 2. You've done problems like that before. All we're doing now is tying in the meaning but using decimals, which is much more real world. Because you're going to buy 9.3 gallons of gas. So from here, I'm going to do my multiplication. And I'm going to move my decimal point over three spots. Now, here comes a little bit of understanding. Yes, our answer is 19.716. But remember what we're working with. We're dealing with money. We're dealing with the price of something. If that's the case, then you need to interpret your answer in the context of the question. Really, the cost of gasoline is going to be $19.72. You're not going to have 0.716 of a dollar. So you round up to 2. The 6 tells the 1 to round up. Now, I have to figure out how much 
change she's going to get because that's what the question was asking. She gave the clerk a $100 bill and her gas only cost her $19.72. Remember, when you subtract or add, you need to line up the decimal, which is exactly what I did. So, my final answer would be that Miss James will receive $80.28 in change.